Coming up on Hands on iOS, I am going to show you a fun new feature you can take advantage of in iOS 14 that'll save you time and potentially impress your friends. Hands on iOS is brought to you from Twit's LastPass Studios. You're focused on security, but are your employees? Well, LastPass can ensure that they are by making access and authentication seamless, whether employees are working in the office or remotely. Visit lastpass.com slash twit to learn more. This is Twit. Folks, with the introduction of iOS 14, of course there are loads of new features, and some of them are more obvious than others. Uh, this one came about, or rather my desire to share this feature with the world came about uh, because of my mother, actually. Uh, she sent me a little link to, I believe it was a Facebook link, it may have been just an article, and it was talking about a feature in iOS 14 uh, that could let you kind of have a shortcut to placing a call or sending a text. And that made me realize, oh my goodness, I need to let everybody know about this. I had tried out this feature while the app was in beta, but hadn't quite uh, checked into it in the meantime. And that feature is one called Backtap. Backtap lets you use the actual device and a gesture of a tap to do things with your phone, to trigger different actions with your phone. So let's take a look. So first we will launch the Settings app. We will scroll down past General, choose Accessibility, from there, we will scroll down to physical and motor and choose touch. And then we scroll all the way to the bottom where there's a new feature called back tap. Underneath back tap, it says double or triple tap on the back of your iPhone to perform actions quickly. So double tap and triple tap. So I'll tap into that and you can see that I currently have it turned off. Uh, during the beta, this feature was rather touchy. Uh, meaning that it kind of picked up on taps even when I was not actually doing taps. So that got a little annoying, but uh, let's see how the feature is doing these days because I know that uh, Leo uses a back tap feature to let me know that he is on his way for iOS today on Tuesdays. So you can set separate taps for each of these gestures, double and triple, and we'll start with double. Um, from here, you can see there are so many different options, which is really exciting. Uh, this can go as far as accessing the app switcher, which of course is uh, by swiping up from the screen to access all of the different apps that are available and quickly get to an app that you want to get to, to launch Control Center, to launch the Home app, or rather to, to go to the home screen, uh, to lock your iPhone, so instead of having to tap that sleep wake button, you can use uh, a double tap to lock the phone, to mute the phone, to launch notification center, to use the reachability shortcut, which is where when you take your finger and swipe down at the bottom to actually make the screen move down, uh, if you've got a bigger phone, reachability is very helpful. But instead of having to do that gesture, you could double tap to make that gesture happen. Take a screenshot instead of doing that a uh, really difficult maneuver of grabbing the right sides of the phone. So I'm gonna choose that for now. Uh, shake, which is literally shaking your phone, that's shake to undo. So if you type in text or you type in text and then delete the text by accident, shaking your phone can bring that text back uh, to launch Siri, which of course is an easy one, to access spotlight, which you would normally access from the home screen by swiping down with your finger somewhere on the screen, volume down and volume up. So you could set volume down to double tap, set volume up to triple tap or vice versa. There are also accessibility controls, um, all of those there, scroll gestures. So if you don't wanna scroll up and down on your own, you can use a double tap to scroll down the screen and a triple tap to scroll back up. And then, oh, you can see I did a double tap and so it actually took a screenshot for me. I was gonna save that feature to show you in a moment, but spoilers, there it goes. Uh, that's what I get for tapping. And then this 
is the place where things get incredibly powerful. You can use a double tap or triple tap with the Shortcuts app on iOS to actually trigger any of your shortcuts. So this means that I could set up a shortcut. A really great example is a shortcut for the home where I want all of the lights in my house to turn off. And normally I'd say, hey, you know who, uh, please turn off all the lights in my house. Instead, I could just do a triple tap on the back of my iPhone and make that happen. So any of the shortcuts can be there. And then there's also the ability to, if you were to go and add shortcuts, get those to show up as well. And you can see that they are all there. And so, as I said, I set uh, the double tap to screenshot. And I think that's a great one, um, instead of having to do those little shortcut keys on the uh, sides. And originally I had set double tap to control center, which normally you access by putting your finger in the top right corner of the screen and swiping down on a phone that has no home button or swiping up from the bottom on a phone that has a home button. And so now that I've set screenshot, for double tap, I'm gonna choose back, and then I'm gonna choose triple tap. And for now, we'll set that to control center just because I wanna show you these different features. So, I've got those set, I'll pop out and go back to my home screen, and oh wow, my home screen is gorgeous. I can just simply double tap on the back of the phone, and voila, it took a screenshot. Well, you know what? I wanna turn down the volume on my iPhone. One, two, three, control center activates, and I can make adjustments there to the volume to anything that's available in control center. If I hit it again, one, two, three, it turns off control center. So keep in mind, you can set this for any of those shortcuts, any of those um, gestures that you would normally do. And that just, just think of the power, the possibility. Um, I can remember when this feature was first announced, uh, my pal and fellow, uh, and a panelist here on the Twit Network, Renee Ritchie, said, I'd love it if I could double tap or triple tap on the back of my iPhone and the uh, Imperial March from Star Wars would start playing. And sure enough, uh, Matthew Casanelli, my co-host on Smart Tech Today, made a shortcut that would use the built-in features of the shortcut app to go into the music app and choose a device in the home, for example, a HomePod or the iPhone itself, it depends on what you want to do, and would choose that as the output for the song and start playing the Imperial March. So think about all of those steps that it would normally take. Boom, 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 a triple tap on the back of the iPhone and it was done. It could happen. And so just there's, I get so excited about this feature because there are so many possibilities. Uh, the article that my mother shared with me was a simple one for like making a phone call using a double tap or triple tap on the back of the iPhone. But there's so much you can do with double tap and triple tap uh, in the accessibility settings on iPhone. So have fun, go forth and create. I'm looking forward to seeing what you do with double and triple tap. Folks, thanks for tuning in to yet another episode of Hands on iOS, where I am currently covering new features in iOS 14 that you should be taken advantage of. If there's one that you're curious about or something that you don't know about, do let me know. Just send that to hands on io, well, rather hoi at twit.tv. We try to make it easier on you. Hoi at twit.tv is the email address uh, where I will get that, see that, read that listen to that, well, however you send it. And of course, be sure to subscribe to the show, twit.tv slash HOI. We'll get you links to the show in its various formats, both audio and video, whether you're watching on Google Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube, etc. And of course, please do, if you check out the show on YouTube, youtube.com slash hands on iOS, go ahead and click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the like button. And if you want to know when the show is available right away, of course, click the bell as well. Thanks so much for tuning in to another episode of Hands on iOS. I'll catch you next time. Hey, what's going on, everybody? I am Ant Pruitt, host at Twit TV. Got a question for you. 
Have you gotten tired of how bad your photos are looking every time you post them to Instagram? Better yet, have you gotten yourself a new camera and you can't quite figure out why the images just don't look that good? Well, I have a solution for you. This is my show, Hands On Photography. Each and every Thursday, I sit down and share different tips and tricks that are going to help make you a better photographer and a better post processor. So subscribe today at twit.tv hop to learn more.